Your comfort zone is making you miss out and we have to fix that. So in this video, I'll be sharing some shocking facts about this and ways to help you overcome it. Number seven and number 10 are my personal favorite, but I encourage you to watch the entire video because you never know which one would stand out for you. Life feels safe and familiar when we're in the comfort of our own space. I think we can all agree on that, but sometimes it can be really difficult to find the motivation to step out of your comfort zone. However, when we confine ourselves to our comfort zone, we only limit our chances to truly engage in the richness of life and all that we're actually meant to be. When you decide to step out of your comfort zone, you need to be determined to start looking at life with a shift in perspective. Every time you push yourself outside of your comfort zone, it will get really uncomfortable because you are outside of what you're used to, but that will also open you to new opportunities of personal growth, learning, and success. When I first discovered the concept of having a comfort zone, I didn't really understand the challenges of stepping outside of it. I thought it was really going to be easy, and it actually took me a long time to learn how to overcome those barriers and unlock my true potential. And I'm sharing this with you as a gift so that you don't have to go through that stress. Before we get into it, let me briefly explain what being in your comfort zone means. Being in your comfort zone is simply a psychological state where you can relax and be yourself without feeling pressured or judged. And while that might seem absolutely fantastic, don't be fooled because within the confines of your comfort zone, you will also often shy away from new experiences or avoid taking on challenges. You will tend to stick to activities you know really well and because you know it kind of gives you a sense of control over your surroundings does this sound familiar many of us prefer to remain within our comfort zone as a means of avoiding potential anxiety stress or discomfort this is because stepping outside of your comfort zone can often lead to feelings of uncertainty which in turn can make you feel anxious and it's only natural for us to try and avoid those feelings so take it from me that these emotions are completely normal but they shouldn't Hold you back and if you're asking the question why should i leave my comfort zone why fix something that works for me here's the thing while it may feel cozy and secure staying within your comfort zone can prevent you from experiencing personal growth and pursuing those desires that you lack the confidence to pursue. Take the scenario of being stuck in a job that doesn't bring you joy or fulfillment over time this can lead to a sense of exhaustion and disconnection but all the same, it has become the place where you feel most at ease and there's that safety net of having a stable job or just having a job in general. But do you feel fulfilled? Can it really create the life and the future that you want? While it can be intimidating to step outside of your comfort zone and push your limits, even though deep down, I know that we all know that you have potential for more. And after personally struggling with these things, I wanted to take a moment to highlight the compelling reasons why stepping out of your comfort zone can be incredibly rewarding and hopefully you take that plunge. Number one, it's not as scary as you expect it to be. There's a saying that you will never know unless you try. And it's like one of those things that reminds you to take risks and be afraid of trying new things. I can vividly recall the first time I was given an opportunity to address a large audience. And after receiving that call invitation, you'd expect that I'll be ecstatic, I'll be excited. But instead I felt the sickening wave of nausea and I just felt really scared about that opportunity to the point where I became drained and just started envisioning different scenarios that would potentially embarrass me. So instead of preparing for the occasion, I actually ended up falling asleep from overthinking and only woke up, I think, about 30 minutes to the event the next day. But luckily for me, the subject matter was something I was excited about talking about and something I cared about. And the audience was also really encouraging. So apart from the unnecessary sweating that I was delivering in that fully air conditioned hall, it went pretty well. But bottom line was that I didn't believe in myself enough and almost talked myself out of a great opportunity, which leads me to my next point. Number two, people don't care as much as you think. The same way I imagine those people were going to have opinions, that's the way many of us overthink everything. As a matter of fact, I had a couple of people who actually came to meet me after the occasion to discuss issues that they needed help with. They didn't care about my 
my performance. All they saw was someone who could answer their questions. So stop focusing on the negative and put your energy towards the value that you have to offer. And the next time you feel self-conscious or nervous, remember that people are going through their own stuff. So just do your thing. Number three, other people are as scared as you are. Most of the time, we're scared of doing anything new, primarily out of the fear of failure, right? But, you know, we're asking ourselves, what if it doesn't work? You know, why do I have to learn something new? What if I don't have time for this? We all have those questions. And I know it's good to make calculated risk, but sometimes going through the process can give you those answers that you're searching for. Experience is often the best teacher. Whenever you are nervous or scared, I want you to remember that you're not alone. Remember, you are not alone. Do it afraid, and even if you fail, you'll learn. And I'll tell you why in my next point. Number four, remember that people who have less qualifications than you are are successfully doing the things that you're avoiding. As you are taking your time and overthinking the entire process, guess what? People are doing the same thing with limited resources, less skills, learning on the way, and just going for what they want. They don't overthink, they don't overprepare, they don't procrastinate, they just show up. This year, I need you to become that person. I don't want you to miss out on great opportunities and watch people thrive at the things you love. Number five, you will challenge yourself to do more. When you push yourself to try new things and take on challenges, it actually rewires your brain and makes it stronger and more adaptable. And it's not just a personal opinion. Research has shown that our brains can benefit from trying out new things. So trying out new challenges can actually be a beneficial way to keep your mind sharp and vibrant. Number six, you will be proud that you took that leap. I know it seems pretty obvious, but what's a greater joy than being proud of yourself? Besides the boost in self-confidence that comes from pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone, you know, that sense of pride alone of achieving something new will create that spiral effect that causes you to do more. Number seven, you will discover that failure is unlikely since the most typical results are success, learning, and growth. Learn to focus on the process and not the result. If you're really into exploring things and expanding your mind, just keep your focus on what you're learning and don't worry about any setbacks along the way. Number eight, as you get out of your comfort zone, you will see new possibilities that were hidden by barriers you made yourself. Let me explain this point. When you stay in your comfort zone, it's like putting on dark shades in a dark room. You will tell yourself that the things in your life are all that matter. You will keep telling yourself that you don't like things that you've never even tried, that you're not meant to have them. Every time you think this way, you're only building up walls around yourself that are stronger than everything that makes you feel bad. And success isn't always that rosy. There'll be good days and there'll be bad days, but the good days always outweigh the bad. When you take those chances, those walls will fall down. Number nine, you'll be stronger and ready for anything that comes your way. It's not always easy, especially if you've been through some tough stuff. You know, there are times when you'll be ripped right out of your cozy nest, but being open to new opportunities will give you a wider range of experiences and being sure to be able to handle new situations will make you even stronger. Number 10, leaving your comfort zone can change your life by opening doors you never knew were there. This is one of the biggest lessons I've learned since I started leaving my comfort zone. Experiencing new things has the power to completely transform your beliefs, preferences, behavior, and way of life. There are so many possibilities to explore. There's so much, so much more out there that you don't even know about. You just have to embrace the courage to step out of your comfort zone. I hope this gets you feeling motivated to step out of your comfort zone and actually take steps to embrace new opportunities. I'm confident that you'll excel. If not, you'll discover. You've got this. Don't forget to subscribe, share this video, like, and comment down below. I also made this next video as a guide to help you overcome the fear of being seen. So do well to check it out and I'll see you in my next one.